Hi, I'm Christopher Samaris. I'm the Director of Community Development for the City of Lowell. Uh, this week we are celebrating Community Development Week, which is a celebration of Community Development Block funds. Uh, this is the 42nd anniversary of the Community Deve Development Block program. Uh, this week we are going to see several uh, organizations and programs that do use the, take advantage of these funds. And it's a great program and many, many people in the City of Lowell uh, get, uh, take advantage of this. Um, thank you and I hope you enjoy the week. Hello, welcome to the Whistler House Museum of Art, the birthplace of James McNeil Whistler, the famous American artist. As part of our mission, we uh, strive to and are committed to preserving the birthplace of James McNeil Whistler, one of America's premier artists. We try to raise awareness in the greater Merrimack River Valley about the history of the house itself and the works of its original residents, innovators of the American Industrial Revolution. We also a very important educational institution, educating a diverse public about 19th century and early 20th century American art and promoting current research and exhibitions related to Whistler, the house, Lowell, and regional artists in the community. We are committed to our mission. We are committed to enhancing programs for children and their families in the community in order to educate better about the arts and the importance of arts in our community and in our lives. Um, art is in everything we do. Art is in everything we see. So it's important for us to, to raise awareness of how art can influence and enhance your life. So HUD entitlement funds have supported many of our programs here at the Worcester House. In particular, uh, the programs that uh, deal with multicultural um, sectors of our community. We have a Youth Summer Art Program that is multicultural. It's a four-week program lauded by the Boston Globe as one of the best programs in the state for multicultural uh, families and their children. And it's a four-week program, as I said. The first week is drawing, second week is painting, third week is sculpture, fourth week is printmaking and collage. What we do is teach them the history of the historic house, the history and importance of the Industrial Revolution, and those who built the house, who were part of the Industrial Revolution. And we take those themes of James McNeil Whistler, Lowell, the Industrial Revolution, and use them in the education of our art programs. What these programs have done, these HUD entitlement programs for children and their families of low income and middle income sector of the community is to enhance their understanding of not only community, but of the arts, of the historic value of the Whistler House Museum of Art, of the city of Lowell, and to make them a part of the community. These children come, in many ways we've changed their lives. These monies have changed the lives of not only the children, but of their families as well. Uh, they come in shy, not knowing things about the history of the city or the Whistler House or Whistler. And after a week, they open up, they begin to interact with all different children from all different ethnic groups. And they become more self-confident. Uh, they become more um, prolific in their interpersonal skills. It's just a win-win program for all of us. It's wonderful for us to be sponsoring this type of a program. We want to thank uh, the City of Lowell, the HUD and Talderman funds that we get that can make this kind of a program possible for the greater Merrimack Valley area. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Hi, my name is Ravi Dave. I work with the City of Lowell Community Development Department. Uh, this is the closing of Community Development Week. We started off the week going to Lowell Tele Telecommunications Corporation, the Wish House, the Girl Girls Inc. just down the street, Boys and Girls Club, and here we are at the Whistler House. We hope you had an enjoyable week with all the different celebra uh, celebrations we've had, and we look forward to next year celebrating the 43rd Community Development Week in the United States. Take care.